at the site of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore. Today we're looking at all 4K video. We found the best of the videos that were released today because all of the video we saw yesterday was all 1080p, which is basically regular high definition. These are all basically double the resolution. So let's take a look at what we have. First, they let out a long horn blast to let them know there's one minute to go. And I had to greatly attenuate the sound level because it was loud on this video. Then three horn blasts when there's 15 seconds to go. And then here's another great angle they shot it from. And then because this camera was so close to the blast, the blast actually caused overdrive on the microphone, so it was highly distorted. This was an incredible close-up view. And then here we got a nice view that's a little further away. On this video, the Unified Command slowed it down greatly. Pay special attention to the left side of the truss and watch what it does as it comes tumbling off of the dolly bow. So you're going to see it kind of tumble over, head over toe. So you see as it collapses down, that end of the truss that was on the left, on the upper left, is now outside the bow and it's going to tumble down head first into the water. See how it sort of rotated as it tumbled into the water. And then here is their same camera angle again in real time. And the Unified Command released this video this morning that was shot in 4K. So this vantage point was from Fort Armistead Park, like the press hall had. But unfortunately, most of the news media live streams that you saw on YouTube were only in standard high definition, whereas this is basically double that in 4K resolution. And I'll zoom in here for you for a better view. And here is their same vantage point through a second camera going at half speed. Now, as I've showed you before, watch again that upper part of the bridge truss. Watch what it's going to do. Fall forward and head down into the water and basically do a big somersault. It's going to tumble there, and you'll see the bottom of it lift up off the dolly, but now it's resting against the side of it. Well, a lot of people have asked me, well, now that the bridge is blown off, will it change the angle of the dolly, and can they refloat it now? Well, yes and no. It is still down at an angle because remember they ballasted it. They filled it with water into the compartments to weigh the front end of it down because when you have the explosion, you don't want the ship moving around or anything. You want it to stay pretty much right where it is. I mean, this video from Stream Time Live today kind of shows you the view of the dolly. Look how all of the cranes came back in full force. They are just attacking those bridge trusses like there's no tomorrow. But look, see, here's the lean of the dolly. You, you can see how it's pointed down at the head and the stern is lifted as you go back there. So it doesn't look like there was any noticeable change in that angle. Now that the bridge is off of dolly, they can now level it up, refloat it when they empty out that ballast water, and they can then send it over to the Seagirt terminal a couple of miles away there. And they're going to leave all of that debris on there. And over at the terminal is when they will pull all of that debris off of the bow of the ship. It's over to Captain Andy's Menorcan Mullet channel for his 4K upload. Five, four, 
three, two, one. And so even if you had seen the live stream on Menorcan Mullet yesterday live, you only saw it in high definition. This is double the resolution here, which he uploaded later. And by the way, Andy had, I think, a record number of like 20,000 people on his live stream watching. So that was pretty good personal victory for him. I will put a link to his YouTube channel in the video description below for you. And Captain Andy also runs these live streams on his channel, too, on the Menorcan Mullet, where for about two-hour blocks of time, they'll show you different things going on around there as the salvagers recover many parts of the debris from the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. And then here you're looking at the vantage point that all of the news media had about a half a mile away from the Fort Armistead Park there. That was the viewing location. So it must have been super loud where those guys were located. And here you can see they're just wrapping up some questioning going on at a small news conference afterwards. And then VBS Defense had a, a pretty good drone video on there. They had a good isometric view of everything that went on in the aftermath. So here at the bottom, you could see that's where the bridge truss still stayed connected. And you can see the cuts there. But see those containers there? They were saying some of them had hazardous materials and they didn't want to take the risk of setting them on fire. So that's why they blew the bridge the way they did and didn't have it slide off as it was originally intended. And then if you look over here on the right, look, all of that truss is now gone. That was the huge length of truss that was on the starboard side of the dolly up to even just a few days ago. And then from this drone shot, as you examine, look at the truss, how it fell over. And you can see it from this angle, how it's draped into the water. We don't know if it's touching the bottom or not, so maybe they can just limp it over to Seagirt. Here's a big photo dump that the Unified Command did for us today. These are photos that were taken over the weekend, before and after. And there's the bow as it had crashed into the pillars there. But man, look at these close-ups of the charges, as you can see there. There's the other remaining bridge pillar and all of the damage on top of there as well. And the guys up in the big old man lifts going up high. They're wiring things together for us. And there's another close-up view of one of the charges. And that's what it looked like before. The truss just hanging over the edge of the dolly. And the guys were still going up top there, very high, 180 feet in some points. And there's a great perspective of it there. So this is the last view of what it looked like before they blew the bridge truss right off of the bow of the dolly ship at 5 p.m. on May 13th. And you can see what a massive structure that was compared to the guys that were standing there. And here's another great shot, just looking head-on at the bow of it and seeing just how large it was. So there's your explosion right there. Look at all of the debris, how it's just floating everywhere there. There's the post explosion there. There's how everything sort of settled. There's your bridge truss that was hanging over the side and leaning up against the dolly right there. So that was a much clearer shot. And there's the view of the other side of the dolly. This is probably the first time we've seen a good clear view of the starboard side. And there's the view of the press media over half a mile away over at Fort Armistead. And there's a good close up shot looking up at that, it's a very tall piece of bridge truss that's still sticking up there on top of the dolly. And there's the side view of the part of the truss that's leaning up against dolly. So yeah, they're going to probably just pull it up with a crane, but you know, there's all of those containers that are hanging right there. What are they going to do with those? I think some of them are going to end up falling into the water. I don't know that you can get in there and claw those in between the bridge truss. So they immediately started cutting, slicing, and dicing. See, there it is right there, close-up shot. That's just amazing how those are all crushed in there like cans. So here's some great shots that Mark over at Dead Rise Marine Photography got. And if you look here, you can see here's a, a great before shot. And then he also got a during the explosion shot that you see here. And then, of course, here's the photo of the aftermath of the explosion where the truss had already fallen off of the bow. 
Now, you know, here on this channel, we do more than just engineering disasters. We do the, the Home Depot and Costco and Lowe's walkthroughs, and we also do the big DIY projects for your house. And after this video, make sure you check out this one over here of the double decker cabinets that I did up in that kitchen. That's an incredible engineering project with a refrigerator, a large refrigerator at a 45 degree angle in the corner. Very difficult project. Check that one out. And then when you're done with that one, make sure you check out this video here, which shows you everything you need to know on how to install laminate flooring in your house. Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight, and we'll see you on the next one.